Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Nick from Rising Sports, and I'm back with another video today ranking NBA centers for this season. I'll be straight up honest with you. I have not watched a ton of basketball this year, so I'm kind of ranking these guys as I know them or as they played in the past, not necessarily this year. Um, but these are all the starting centers this year. Some of them might not be completely accurate. It's hard to find the exact one that's like perfect. So I just did the best one I could. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now y'all can see on your screen. I messed up on the power forward one. Hopefully you won't be able to tell. But I forgot to switch over to the screen to let y'all see um, what I'm doing. So hopefully that one will be able to be fixed. And it's not just me talking the whole time. But here we are uh, starting Steven Adams. He's a good rebounding center, but that's about all he is. Um, with these centers, he's probably going to be right in the middle, I have a feeling. Jared Allen is kind of the same deal. I'm going to put him... I'm going to put him in the 7 to 12 tier. I think he's a better overall player than Steven Adams is just defensively and everything else. Jakob Pertl, one of the not, not bad. He's not a bad center. I don't think any of these centers are necessarily bad. Like there's some positions where I'm like, this is a bad player. I don't think that's true here, but just not great as a whole. Uh, Jokic, uh, probably the best center in the NBA. Um, and then you got Valanciunas here. He's right on that tier with Steven Adams, I would say. Um, James Wiseman in the G League now. So um, if it's Kevon Looney, I'm probably putting him 19 to 24, maybe 13 to 18. He's kind of made himself known this year as more than just a good player. He's, I might even put him 13 to 18, but if we're talking James Wiseman... I think he's a he's a talented guy, just has not really gotten reps uh, this year. Uh, Zubach here, I'm going to put 19-24. He had a unbelievable stat line like last night as I'm recording this video. I don't know when you're seeing it, but I think he had like 31 points and 29 rebounds or something. It's unbelievable. But as a whole, he's just a decent center. I'm going to move him up, actually. I'll put him in the 13-18 to 18 range. Bam out of bio for sure in the top seven. I don't know. It depends how many other centers I feel worthy to put in the top six. I think he could be one that's in the top six. I'm going to put him for seven for now. Uh, Nick Claxton is going to be the first 19 to 24 guy. Plumley, another guy who I just don't think is very good. Uh, Sabonis, another guy, classic seven to 12. He might get moved up as well. DeAndre Aiden, another guy right there. I think a lot of some of these guys could get moved up. Well, Embiid will definitely be one to six. Uh, definitely. Him and Jokic have kind of battled between who's the best center in the league. Wendell Carter, I'm going to put 19 and 24. He's a talented young guy, but um, not quite on that tier yet. Shangun is turning into a really talented player. I'm still going to not put him above kind of... He's right... I feel like he's right there kind of with Subach. I don't think... Obviously, he's really young. But I'm not going to put him anywhere near here yet. Uh, Mitchell Robinson is just a really good rebounder. There's not a whole lot other to, other to his game than that. Brooke Lopez, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And he's kind of, I feel like these three guys are all kind of in that same range of really good rebounders, but not a whole lot else. Brooke Lopez can shoot a little bit better, so I might move him up a little. Um, who else do we have? Christoph Porzingis next. Um, he's battled injury a lot. I'm still going to put him in the 7 to 12 range. Rudy Gobert is a top, I would probably say top three center. I don't think anybody else on this list is going to be better. Uh, Pascal Siakam's weird because I don't feel like he's a center, but they're listing him as one. Um, so I'm also going to put him right in here. I don't know where he'll go. Miles Turner, another guy right in here. It's really hard to rank these guys. Javel McGee. He's a little above average, but not great. Vucevic, I think, fits in this category as well. And then Robert Williams, I feel like he is a talented player. He's a really good rebounder, really good defender. Not much offensively, though, so I feel like he would be right here. Feel good about that. Nurkic has battled injuries. He's another guy that fits right in this tier. I think this is actually a pretty good tier. 
uh, right now. Walker Kessler, not really anything. Jalen Duran, same thing. Um, just has not proved it yet in the NBA, so I can't really put them any higher than that. And Chet Holmgren has not played a game yet, so I got to put them there as well. Can't go based off of what I think they're going to do. I kind of have to put all the rookies down here for now. Um, I get I put Paolo Bank Bancaro like in the top 15, but that's because I think he's proven it. Like He's the one rookie that has proven it already. Clint Capella, he's an interesting one as well. Uh, he's going to be probably at the top of this tier. I feel like he's around the 13th best center in the league. That's probably a little harsh. I probably could move him up a little higher. Thomas Bryant, though, probably fits in pretty well right here. Um, okay, so now I got to basically just got the bottom two tiers. I just need to make a couple guys up here. And I'm not saying these guys, I was not thinking that they're all in here. I knew some of them would move up. I just didn't know who. Um, so out of these guys, I really think the cutoff is Porzingis here. I really think the cutoff is at Christoph Porzingis. I don't think he can move up. But any of these guys, I think, could move up. Um, but really, probably not Visevich, probably not Miles Turner, probably not Jared Allen. It's probably going to be one of these four. And I got to move up three of them is basically what I have to do. So I think Bam gets moved up for sure. Now, out of these three, it's going to be tough. I get to probably move two of them up, and then I'll move a couple of these guys up. Pascal just isn't a center, though. Like, that's what's hard for me. I think I'm going to move up. I think I'm going to move these two and leave Aiton down there. That's what I think I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I think in, in that order is pretty good. I'm going to move up Capella. I'm, I'll move up. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I actually like how this turned out pretty well. The bottom couple tiers could kind of go either way. Um, I definitely think Pirtle, um and then Wiseman and Plumley are kind of the three bottom guys um, right now. But the top, as far as the top goes, I think it works out perfectly with Jokic, Embiid, Rudy Gobert, Bam, Pascal, and DeMontis Sabonis. I think that works out well. Aiton is kind of right there at seven. Then you got Allen, Turner, Vucevic, and then Porzingis, Capella. I think that's a really good top 12. I think that's kind of where my top 12 would be. Um, Nurkic a couple of years ago was probably in that seven to 10 range, but just not anymore. And yeah, so that, I think that's my tier. Um, yeah, if y'all have any comments or any feedback, let me know in the comments below. Um, please let me know your rankings as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next Rise of Sports.